Hello, my name is Andreas and I'm going to be a host for this review of the Maparan and the Focalic Double Alto C Ocarinas. Now, before we begin, I want to warn you, I am a beginner, so I will not be able to produce the sounds of more talented and experienced people like, uh, for example, kissing. Uh, and also, I'm only a human, so I'll be a little biased towards uh, one ocarina or the other. So please make up your own mind even though I'll come with uh, comments and recommendations along the way. I'm going to be a little unorthodox and start with the price tag for each ocarina. Um, the Focal Link one is 118 US dollars and the Maparan one is 218 US dollars. The shipment price is $30 for the Maparan and $28 for the Focal Link, so they're basically the same. That's international shipping. Alright, over to the physical properties of each ocarina. As you can see, this is the Maparan Double Alto C. It's got um, two blowholes, one for each chamber played by the right hand for the upper chamber. It's a right-handed ocarina. Um, it's got an orange glaze. It's not shiny, but it looks classy. And um, the sub-holes for playing sharps and flats is played by the right hand. The Focal Link Double Alto C. It's hard to see because of the lighting here. Let's see. Yeah. Um, the Focal Link Double Alto C has a black glaze. Both ocarinas are made of earthenware. Um, the thing to notice about the shape of this ocarina is that the fingering holes of the right hand is flat. That was a little unusual for me, at least at first, but uh, that's only because I played the, the Maparan one for months. One thing to notice about the Focal Link is that the sub hole for playing sharps and flats, uh, more not noticeably the um, E flat, is situated on the left hand. And that means if you have to play fast and things get a little sticky, um, you don't have to preoccupy your right hand with an additional sub hole. And then over to the sound. Both ocarinas have a range of two octaves plus two notes beneath the lowest C. That's uh, low A up to C and then to C again. I'll play these notes for you. Um, and then I try to play uh, sharps and flats, well, at least in the first chamber. Here's the Maparam one first. didn't I? Oh well. Over to the Focal Link one.
Now keep in mind that I'm a beginner and those high notes in the second chamber won't sound good until you practice for a long time, obviously. Anyways, um, the thing about the quality of this instrument is um, the map around one has a really soft and mellow sound and requires very little breath to play even up in the higher registers. Um, the folk link one requires also very little breath but it's slightly it's a slightly bit area on the higher notes, especially the C and D as in um, I thought you had, I think you had that on the D one. Um that's not the issue with the map around one, but as I'm a beginner, um I can't really say this for sure. Each ocarina is handmade, so they'll be slightly different from all the others. I think personally that the Focalink one is easier to play on the second chamber, but the map around one sounds better. Alright, um, both these ocarinas comes with something a little extra. Uh, both came fast and quick, uh, both had great customary services, they answered emails quickly and politely and everything, um, but there is a little difference between the two. The Focalink one arrived in this bag, or oh, that's a protective bag shipped along with it, it was better protected than this. but. This doesn't offer too much protection, so you have to take care around the ocarina. But, as a nice extra, you get a polish cloth. That's always nice. The map around one, on the other hand, came with this. It's a bulky and well protected carrying case. And, I don't know if you can see this, but... I can manage to fit both my ocarinas into one bag. And it's separated with a nice little flap. Uh, I usually keep my sheet music in uh, the upper half of the carrying case. Um, the Maparam Ocarina came with the fingering chart, which is the same for the double and triple, but that's really nice to have in paper form. Because you know uh, you might be traveling and forget which note is what. Uh, the Focalink one, I only got it via internet. Which, well, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's a little deal. To summarize, personally, I enjoy the Maparan one the most. Alright, it's the most expensive, but um, for all you get for that extra cash, it's worth it. The carrying case, the sound, uh, alright it's harder to play but um, once you do get to know the instrument and do get to become a little better you'll enjoy it more. And compared to my STL Ocarina that's a single for the record um, the quality is way better. But then on the other hand the STL Ocarina was way cheaper so you get what you pay for. Um, if you want to buy an ocarina and don't have enough cash then buy the focal link. But if you want to have my recommendation I would recommend you to buy the Maparan one. Of course both are excellent instruments and it's always worthwhile to try different ocarina makers. I hope there's nothing I've forgotten now. Um, I hope you enjoy my review. And I hope you buy one of um, the ocarinas I've reviewed. Um, if you want to learn more about ocarinas, visit the Ocarina Network or Ocarinas United, or both.